In this video, we are going to discuss some important points about signals. So, here when we are discussing a signal, you need to get some idea about a signal definition. That means, signal must be with some name, with some reference. That means, uh, X of t is a signal with varying with the time like that. So, if you want to represent any signal with any other signal, you need a representation. For example, if you are having one signal in your hand, if you want to represent the same signal in terms of other signal, if it is possible or not means that is possible, but we are having a uh, process that means we need to consider a coefficient. Why we need a coefficient means, so all these signals will take the analogy of vectors. So, for example, if you are having a vector like this, so if you are having a vector like this v1 and v2, if you want to represent your vector v1 in terms of vector v2, you need to draw a orthogonal bisector like this. So, here this point is called as c12, this is coefficient of uh, that relation. So, here if you want to represent this v1 in terms of v2, so you need to draw a uh, perpendicular line uh, from v1 to v2, that point you need to mark as coefficient. So, by multiplying this c12 with this v2, you are going to get v1 signal. So, here v1 equal to c1 to v2. Similar to this vector analogy, we are applying this uh, vector analogy to our signals. For example, if you are having two signals, so f1 of t and f2 of t like this if you are having if you draw a perpendicular bisector then you will get a coefficient this coefficient name you can put uh, as your wish that means you can uh, consider this c or cr or cb or that is your wish why i am considering as c12 means and i want to take the relation of function 1 to 2 that is why i consider c12 the um, meaning of c is quotient you can consider that quotient name also as different as this so that means you can take b12 or you can take f12 like that you can consider but here uh, c uh, uh, indicates coefficient and 1 to indicates i want to consider the relation from function 1 to function 2 so c12 is the best representation of quotient relating that two functions so now according to this analogy i can write f1 of t is equal into c1 to f2 of t so we can represent any function in terms of other function by using a coefficient so, that is why I written f1 of t is equal to c1 to f2 of t. This is similar to for example, if you want to represent to, uh, 4 in terms of 2, how we will represent if you want to represent 2 in terms of 4. So, in terms of 4, if you want to represent 2 means you need to represent, you need to consider a quotient. That means, so how 2 we will represent in terms of 4 by taking 1 by 2 into 4, you, you can represent 2. So, this 1 by 2 you can consider as coefficient. So, to equate anything with uh, any other thing, you need a coefficient of multiplication. That is why for signals also we require that. So, that is called as C12 is called as coefficient of approximation. If you want to approximate one signal with other signal, you need coefficient. That coefficient is called as coefficient of approximation. We are having a formula to calculate that coefficient of approximation when two signals are given. For example, if you are asked to find out uh, the approximation of two signals, then how we will do means first we will take the quotient value, we will substitute in this equation. For example, you, you are given with two signals, some sine signal and cos signal you are given with f1 of t is equal to sin t, f2 of t equal to cos t for example, if you given with. then you need to find out the quotient value and you need to substitute here. So, then you are going to get the better approximation. The quotient value can be found by using this formula. So, the formula is integral t1 to t2, you can take any limits. So, according to the given limits, you need to consider the limits for this integration and f1 of t into f2 of t multiplication of two functions. So, divided by integral square of the second function to which we are going to approximate. That means, for example, they given 
for uh, approximation of first function in terms of second function you need to consider second function square for example they are asking second function in terms of first function then you can take f1 square of t and here always they will give uh, as basic they will give approximate first function with second function that's why i considered f2 square of t for example uh, in some cases they may provide complex function one of the function as complex function one, uh, one of the function as real function in that case what we will do is we will take star for second function and here we will take modulus that is the only difference when they given uh, the approximation between uh, complex functions so here coming to um, orthogonality this is very very important so if two signals are orthogonal the component of approx approximation is zero so when you are having like this you you may get a shadow for example you just treat like we are uh, having a uh, sun uh, sun shadow so here for example if you are laying uh, like this we will get a shadow for example if you are like this at 12 noon so we won't get any shadow the, uh, similar to that signals are orthogonal means so f2 of t is like this and f1 of t is like this if you want to draw perpendicular bisector from f1 of t to f2 of t is that possible if you draw also that will uh, goes to zero so that means c12 value will be is equivalent to zero so this is the meaning of this point if two signals are orthogonal the component is zero that is c12 is zero if you apply the c12 in this formula you are going to get the orthogonality condition so then if you make c12 is equal to zero in this um, in this formula then this denominator will be multiplied to 0 and the remaining is equivalent to 0 that means the condition for orthogonality is integral of f1 of t and f2 of t is equal to 0 for example in exams how they give questions on this topic is what is the coefficient they will ask so you need to find the quotient by using this formula what is the approximation of one signal with other signal if they given quotient then directly you can write like this or they will ask they will give two signals and they will ask like this so is these two signals are orthogonal or not so they will ask like this then you need to check this formula that means you need to multiply in the given limits you need to integrate you need to multiply and integrate in the given limits if you got zero those two signals are said to be orthogonal if you are getting any value than uh, this zero that two signals given are not said to be orthogonal and please keep in mind all sign and cos are orthogonal to each other that means sign signals are orthogonal to cos and cos signals are orthogonal to sign for example in any exam if you saw uh, f1 of t in terms of sign and f2 of t in terms of cos if they are asking for orthogonality then definitely without doing this formula also you can say these signals are orthogonal and coefficient you can make it as zero no need to use this formula once again when you saw um, sign and cos to find coefficient or to find orthogonality you can directly say sign and cos are orthogonal and quotient of approximation for sign and cos signals is equivalent to zero this is all uh, these are all very important points in signal basics first you need to know the um, approximation of a signal with another signal by knowing this point so this is very important point in Fourier series Fourier series representation came by using this theory only so there in the introduction of Fourier series we are going to notice this formula we are going to recall this formula once again so this is very important approximating one signal with other signal can be done by using a approximation quotient and quotient equation will be like this this will be zero when two signals are orthogonal